All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. I have a really cool moon anomaly video for you guys today. The far side of the moon. Now, I've heard a lot of, I don't know, misinformation, disinformation, a lot of, I don't want to say uneducated, but a lot of people out there that, that just have not done the research that I have done. So, guys, let's get into it. I'm excited. By the way, UFO Nocturnal News is my other channel. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be breaking this down further, you know, uh, later on tonight and tomorrow. So, okay, the top secret Apollo 20 mission and the alien girl, and I've got some really cool pictures coming up. So don't don't click off. I'm telling you. Okay, the Apollo program, uh, the Apollo program officially ended in 1972 with the Apollo 17 being the last mission uh, to the moon and back. However, NASA had planned three more missions: Apollo 18, 19, and 20. According to theorists, I'm not even going to use that word, the Apollo missions, realists, we'll call them factual people, the Apollo missions had discovered ancient, uh, ancient artificial uh, buildings and anomalies. You guys, I'm not going to read all this, but look guys, I do believe we had at least one more mission to the moon after Apollo 17, probably to the far side of the moon. And okay, you're right here guys, China. Okay, the China rover okay on the moon now my first question before we get to the video is why does it look like mars why does every you know china rover video look completely different than all the apollo missions and even the new you know images coming from nasa it's like this gray dusty barren ball right but whenever you look at these you know the, the china images they look completely different very odd and that is the far side of the moon right here uh, that is where the rover landed, and again, this is the far side of the moon. Like I said, there is a misconception. People think it's dark, you know, cold, barren, empty. It's not, and uh, you know, it has you know cycles of daylight and darkness, just like Earth. Now, it's it's a it's a different cycle, obviously, but the dark side of the moon isn't always dark. Okay, uh, let me see. Let's read this. Look, guys, I got a really cool video. For you so please stay tuned okay our, our first glimpse of the mysterious far side of the moon came early in the space race courtesy of the soviet union's lunar 3 spacecraft almost 60 years ago 1959 uh barely two years after placing sputnik in orbit russian engineers managed to send the spacecraft which was crewed by today's standards into orbit around the moon and for the first time we got a good look at the mysterious far side it's often mistaken uh, thought that the far side of the moon is in darkness, rather it experiences day-night cycles just like the near side. When we see half the moon being illuminated by the sun, giving it uh, giving it a half or crest shape in the sky, half the moon on the far side is being illuminated at the same time. So when you see that half crest moon, that means the other side of the moon is illuminated just like you know in the ad your, your you know afternoon daylight on Earth or whatever. You got I'm trying to burn through this, guys. So I don't I don't want to lose you here because I put a lot of hard work in this video coming up. So again, please. Please watch. Okay, when the moon is new, the far side is uh, in full daylight instead. When the moon is full, it's nighttime on the far side. Now, how cool is that? Let me read that one more time. When the moon is new, the far side is in full daylight instead. So when there's a new moon, the dark side of the moon is the lit side of the moon. Okay, when the, when the moon is full, it's nighttime on the far side of the moon. You're looking at a real picture of the International Space Station. All right, guys, stay tuned. Awesome video again. Sub to this channel. Come over to UFO Nocturnal News, and I'll be breaking this down further. Alright guys, now we get into the good stuff. Now, what are you looking at there? These are allegedly pictures of the far side of the moon. Remember the uh, the Nazca lines in southern Peru? That's what it reminds me of. Okay, so look guys, like I said, this is going to be pretty much like a, just I'm going to show you a, a collaboration of pictures that I found online. And, well, all over. I found them on Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, Google, NASA documents, NASA website, just everywhere. And these are weird anomalies on the moon. And the thing is, like, if you try to YouTube, you know, moon anomalies, you're not going to find much. So we're going to go through them together. The video, I think it'll be about seven minutes long. 
Uh, and hopefully you guys made it this far. I just made a, a quick little three minute intro, but, but look at this guys, this weird pyramid. Now again, that was, I mean, apparently taken on the far side of the moon. Wow. Okay, and, and you know, for all the debunkers out there, for all the non-believers out there, let, let me say one thing. If one of these pictures are, are real, which I believe most of them are, if, if one is real, okay, then, then that, that's enough to, to start asking questions. You know, we live in a society, you know, where we're just head down, buried in our phone, you know, not really thinking about what is out there. You know, when you see pictures like this, I mean, y you have to kind of raise an eyebrow. You have to ask questions. So... Uh, to say, it says here, to say uh, that nobody has ever stepped foot on the moon before 1969 is purely a myth. And I agree. And, and again, guys, like I told you about, you know, NASA ending the Apollo missions, or the moon missions, rather, uh, with a, Apollo 17. Well, what about 18, 19, 20? I believe they, they definitely went back. Also, you know, going back to... You know, the shuttle missions, they had a secret shuttle mission, and they to this day, they haven't told us why they went, okay? And you guys, again, fact check me, YouTube it, Google it, do your, do your own homework, do your own research, look it up, why did we go back to the, uh, well, <laughs> they didn't say where we were going, but allegedly, you know, they were going to do something around the moon, the shuttle missions, but we, to this day, we don't know. But look at this, guys, I mean, that is clearly... You know, geometrical, it is, there's shapes, there's squares, there's rectangles, there's triangles. It's some type of building. And this weird pillar right there. I mean, these are real pictures, you know, uh, from the moon. You can find most of them in the NASA archive. In fact, you know, you can you can find interviews with the uh, the NASA astronauts, you know, talking about these anomalies. But, but you know, it's just, be it's become, you know, taboo and shadow banned, suppressed. So I wanted to, to bring you guys a collection I mean, what are we looking at? It, that looks like something off of Google Maps, like if you're flying over, you know, like the Middle East or something, or, you know, or some type of, you know, desert, you know, just, I don't know, guys. I mean, you know, and, and sure, it could be, you know, a natural, you know, anomaly, but uh, what do we got here? Yeah, and, and this picture here, I'll show you a better picture in a minute. They're calling this the Lunar City, uh, and there's a lot of them. But, but guys, like I said, I've been working on this for about a week, you know, in this weird tunnel right here. Uh, again, they don't really have a clear definition. There's a lot of scientific, you know, thoughts of what it could and couldn't be, but, but there's no proof one way or the other. But, I mean, to me, something like that should not be on the moon. Okay. And, and actually, I watched uh, right here this weird, I don't know, rectangular block uh, another channel did a great job of breaking it down, and it was really weird. Let me read this. Okay, in a news release, okay, uh, JPL director SSA uh, program explained why she asked Johnson Johnston to resign. Now, apparently, Johnston, he was a former NASA employee, and, you know, he said, hey, I'm tired of NASA hiding things. I'm tired of them blurring out images, you know, things like that. And he says here that he knows that the astronauts discovered ancient alien cities. Hello, lad. That's a little alien dude. And, and the remains of amazingly advanced machinery on the moon. Some of the technology can manipulate gravity. Okay, and again, this is a, you know, a confirmed former NASA employee. I have nothing to lose. I quarreled with NASA. I got fired. You know, and he goes on to... Uh, you know, to talk about in the article, in the interviews, you can find them online about how they were hiding anomalies. You know, you guys know my family, they, they, to this day, they work for NASA back in the Apollo 11 missions. My uncle, uh, you know, mission control, he told me himself, you know, he literally told me that yes, NASA does, you know, they hide things. Okay. I mean, uh, this incredible, uh, Hubble photo of a perfect pyramid on the moon. Okay, that was in December 2006. Now, this is really weird. Some type of, like, skull, you know, photographed on the moon. And then I'll show you another picture in a minute. And it seems to be like a broken skeleton or something like that. Very odd, guys. I mean, but again, you know, uh, like I said, are all of these pictures real? I don't know. I mean, how do we know? I mean, but I can tell you most of them are from the official NASA archive. Therefore, you know, NASA is saying, hey, you know, your tax dollars fund us. Here's the pictures. They're real. <laughs> lad, lad, you're a busy, you're a busy dude today. 
you know, again, these weird anomalies that should not be on the moon. It's crazy. And, and that right there, and I'm sure you guys have seen this, but I wanted to include it in the video because, I mean, look, that is not natural. You know, that is something, it looks like uh, like an auger, if you guys know how, if you ever built a fence, you know, when, you, when you're when you digging holes for your, your post, your post that it looks like an auger bit. But right there, you know, it looks like some type of an underground facility, like an underground bunker. I mean, you can see everything on, on the moon surface and nothing looks like that. I mean, look at that, guys. How is that natural? And it's huge, too. The size of that, they said it's like two football fields long. So it's about 200 yards in length. You know, so it's it's not a it's not a small anomaly. It's huge. And again, this one right here blew my mind. Like I said, allegedly from the far side of the moon. And I know a lot of you guys out there. Go, oh God, you know now he's going down the rabbit hole. This is crazy. Well, how do you know? How do you know? Again, I mean, how many people have actually seen the far side of the moon? Now look at the picture in the background. You see the moon set back there. This is a NASA working on the new Mars rover for heavy lifting. This is like a, future, a futuristic rover. But, but, but look, just notice the back, the moon, mountains, and hills back there. Doesn't that look just like the, the photos we see today? You know, very odd. And again, you know, I was told by my family that, yes, I mean, they do, you know, create these sets. I mean, right here, it looks just like Mars right? <laughs> My friends texted me. So, all right, guys, look, I'm going to leave it at that. Sub to the channel, leave a comment below, support us on Patreon, come over to UFO Nocturnal News. I'll, I'll, I'll break this down further over the weekend.